Good evening. Welcome here. Welcome at home for this very special event. Our guest tonight is one of the most successful, most renowned writer of uh, legal thrillers in the world. His first book came out in 1988, A Time to Kill. And since then, he has published a book every year. He has sold over 300 million copies of his books worldwide. And recently, this book was published. It's called in English, The Guardians, in Dutch translated into The Onschuldige. It's a great book about a small outfit of lawyers in Savannah, Georgia, who try to get people out of uh, death row who have been convicted innocently. This book is one of the topics, many other topics we can talk about, together with uh, 600 students, lawyers, judges here in Musikgebouw and at A in Amsterdam. I'm going to interview and give him a warm applause, John Grisham. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Welcome. Take a seat. Two, three. Thank you. That's only the beginning. First time in Amsterdam? First time, yes. Why? What took oh, you so God, long? Oh, God, don't start that. Uh, <laughs> it just it took a long time. Yeah? A lot of reasons, but uh, don't travel a whole lot. No? Like to stay at home you and, write, and write and write and write. You, you do, but I, I don't know if this is true, but do you travel with your own private plane? Uh, Sometimes, uh, not this trip. Not this trip. No. I was just wondering because if you have a plane, it must be great to go everywhere you can go to. Yeah, but after you know, after a while, we um, we got to where we prefer to stay at home. I think the older I get, the more I want to stay at home. Yeah. Yeah. Virginia. I'm 64 years old, and I've you know, been traveling a lot for 30 years. It's, it's fun. Uh, it's also uh, gets to be kind of tiring, tiresome, and. I like to stay at home. Where do you write when you are at home? Do you have a little shed or something where you like to sit and work? First of all, it's great to be in, in, in Amsterdam for the first time ever. Uh, <laughs> I have thoroughly enjoyed uh, walking around your city and it's charming and uh, hospitable and beautiful. I called my wife when I got here Sunday and I said, um, dear, I'm in a beautiful hotel in the red light district. <laughs> <laughs> and she wasn't too pleased to hear that. But no? I said, this, it's very nice, the great hotels, great restaurants, coffee shops, uh, bookstores. It's, it's very lovely. What so, did you do today? Uh, hiked uh, across the city for hours and went to the museums. And, Which one uh, did you visit? The um, uh, Ritz and the Van Gogh and the uh, Modern. Hmm. Uh, so I had a busy day. Yeah. Um, you, normally I travel with my wife, uh, and we love to do... Uh, the museums and galleries and things like that, but she couldn't make this trip. Uh, but I promised her she was going to come back. So we'll be back soon to, to, so she can see Amsterdam. Perfect. Yeah. We'd like to have you here. Uh, I'll be back. I mean, it won't take 25 years, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I write uh, in a small office, uh, a small building behind. Mm -hmm. uh, we live on a farm in, in, um, in very rural Virginia, in the, in the horse country. It's an old house uh, by our standards, not by yours. It's only 250 years old, mm. which is nothing around here. Uh, but the, uh, it's a small office, and I write there um, most every day. Um, it's, uh, there are no phones, no fax, no internet, no music. I work offline because um, I know some writers who have been hacked and their stuff stolen. And that happens. And I'm paranoid of the internet, and I don't, I don't spend much time there. No? Yeah. Um, so you have a computer that's not connected to anything? I have a computer I work on basically for word processing. And um, then when I go to the house, which is about 20 feet away <laughs> for a coffee break, um, I have a laptop there mm -hmm. that's plugged into the world, and that's how I communicate with uh, everybody else. But, I, But why are you paranoid? Why, do, why are you afraid for the internet? Because nothing is private. Google does nothing but uh, collect your data mm -hmm. to sell it. That's all Google does. Do you use a mobile? You have to. How can you not use a mobile? No, no, but uh, I mean, they, they are tracking you on your mobile as well. Nonstop. 
Yeah. And you, you, I assume, I assume today that nothing is private. I mean, I, that's why I put, I put very little stuff in an email, uh, personal stuff. I don't, I don't use the internet for. Um, I use old-fashioned landline. I mean, I'm paranoid about yeah. the. And you, sh and you should be. No, I, I totally agree. But do you still, for example, write letters in paper? Yeah, I can still do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you? <laughs> Don't you love to get a letter in the mail? An old-fashioned letter. I write those all the time. Yeah. And um, yeah, I prefer that. Email's great for quick stuff. But nothing of substance or nothing, uh, you know, financial or business or whatever. I, I never, I can't say I never do it, but I try to avoid that because I'm paranoid. Right. And we should be. 